What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is VNH Trick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to just be chill. I'm wearing the kimono. Usually on my channel that means we're chilling and we're just getting ready together and we're just talking and we're just spilling the tea and I just have a lot to catch up with you guys. Like I have so much to say to you guys so I decided to kind of do this. I also tried out some um, eyeshadow palettes and some lip products so definitely watch out for that and yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy more, just like a laid back video, just kind of hanging out with me, put me in the background and just get ready with me. So anyways, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to join my awesome and beautiful squad. And today's post notification shout out goes to Lizette Ocampo, I believe. Lizette, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. You're such a sweet human being. You always leave me the nicest comments and I really appreciate you. I love seeing your comments, so thank you so, so much. I love you. And if you want to be my next post notification shout out, you know what to do. Just turn them on and comment when you are done. Let's get into the video. We got the ears on. We're gonna start with the eyes because I'm trying out an eyeshadow palette that looks very intense. So I definitely wanted to do the eyes first. You guys know eyebrows are done. And today we're gonna be trying out the Groovy Color Eyeshadow Palette. And this is by the company called Nice Face. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go with this crease shade right here and I'm just gonna put that on my transition. And where do I even begin? Um, I guess we can start out with probably the most exciting thing going on in my life and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should if you haven't already, um, you guys know that I am building a house. Um, it's been in the works for a while now, but I didn't want to announce it until it was like for sure. And I am building a house with Wyatt, my boyfriend. Um, we decided that we were going to move in together and you know he's been living in an apartment for so long and so have I so we were like let's just get a house and we just we couldn't find a house that we liked um well there was some houses that we liked but they needed work done and we didn't want to like spend extra money on them if we were already gonna get a house so we decided you know what why don't we just build and we found a place that we can build and it's just it's really exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, we already went to our first design appointment and you guys, my house is gonna be like so aesthetically pleasing. Of course, I'm the one like designing the whole house. Uh, you know, Wyatt has a part in it too, but he likes my style so um, he's really happy with like all the countertops and the floor and all that that I've picked out. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep it super neutral and white and just, I don't wanna say too much because of course, once it's done, you know, the house is done, I'm going to give you guys like a whole um, unfurnished tour and then once I furnish it, I can give you guys another tour and I definitely want to do like more home decor videos and I'm just really excited to have a place that's my own and that it's the way that I like it. I'm going to go in with this orange shade right here, this one right here. Uh, so far, I'm not like crazy about these eyeshadows, obviously I've only tried like one and a half, but um, I definitely had to build the first one up. They're a little bit softer than I anticipated. Like this orange is um, really pretty, but it's not coming off as dark as it is on the pan. I'm gonna go into the shade. There's no shade names by the way, so it's just this red shade right here. What else do I need to tell you guys? Well, first of all, I just uploaded my, um, my sleek trying out sleep cosmetics or sleep makeup video and I just wanted to say guys that I mean I probably already said this so many times but this is really pigmented but you guys are just so nice like every time I upload a video it's like that's my favorite like my favorite thing about YouTube is uploading a video and reading y'all's comments like that day you guys leave me the nicest comments and to be honest I'm just gonna be honest here I felt kind of like I, I feel like I've hit a plateau in my channel. Um, I'm really grateful of my growth in the past months that I've been on YouTube, yes. But I feel it, but like, it's a fact that I've slowed down. Um, I haven't been getting as many subscribers or views as I used to. And at first I thought it was just because everything was going really good in February and then in March I went on vacation for two weeks and I only uploaded like once a week because I just, I didn't have time, you know, I had a lot going on. And uh, that's kind of when my channel kind of started slowing down a lot. So as soon as I got back from vacation, I was like, no, 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 like this is my priority. 
and I've been, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been pretty consistent. I've been posting um, three times a week, every two to three days, and I've been trying really hard to get these videos out. My point is that I do feel like I hit a plateau because even though I've been getting back on my grind, my channel hasn't been, it's not back to where it used to be a couple months ago. So it is kind of, um, it's not unmotivating because it is motivating, it's motivating, it's, it's motivating me more to do better and maybe get a little bit more creative with my videos, but it also kind of, you know, makes me a little sad. But I will tell you guys this, I mean, I've seen other channels that grow faster than me, but I don't think they have as close of a friendship with their subscribers as I do with you guys. Um, obviously, I would love to have millions of subscribers, but I do think quality over quantity. And I know I'll keep growing, I know that, but it, it might, I might grow slower than some, but I think that I'll be so close to you guys that no matter what, I'll always just have like really good quality subscribers and I think I cherish that more than numbers. I'm gonna go in with like this copper glitter and first I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade. That looks nice, that looks really, really nice. Oh wow. Okay, the shimmer, just by this shimmer, I can say that the shimmers are impressing me way more. These are all the shimmer shades. As you guys can see, they look like wet. But now, um, let's move on to the glitter. I'm just gonna use my Too Faced glitter glue and I'm just gonna put some on my lid and go in with that copper glitter. My arm hurts so bad. I got my my depot shot this morning and if you have the depot, you know. I'm like, I feel so sore right now. Honestly, it's like I don't reach for glitter as much anymore, but I feel like it's just it's just a lot nicer to have them pressed because it's not as like messy. It's not getting everywhere. It's just like a really nice way to have glitter and also like if you just have a glitter palette, like you have like every color you need, you know? I'm going to go into this like dark maroon shade and I'm kind of just going to smoke everything out and then let's just start moving on to the face so we can get this ball rolling. For primer, I'm going to go into my CoverGirl New Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion. Then I have the shade 1 Daybreak. I've been loving this. This is the one that I showed in my April favorites. So what's something else I could tell you guys about? Oh, well, this is actually kind of exciting. Um, you guys know that I mean you might I don't know but I have a beauty weekly segment on a TV show it's a talk show in Spanish and it's local to Houston and I send them videos um, in Spanish and um, I kind of just do like a weekly segment like I said but when I get back I have I'm gonna be traveling for the next couple weeks to like to like June but when I get back um, I mean, I'll be back between trips. I'm just getting ahead of myself. But anyways, when I get back, they invited me to go into their show, like not just as my beauty segment, but like an interview and talk maybe about like social media and how I started and if I have tips for, you know, other people that want to start their own channel and like stuff like that. So I'm really excited and I'm obviously going to vlog the whole thing because um, I've been to those studios. I actually interned with them. So I used to work there before but I thought it'd be cool to vlog and show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes of like a TV show and stuff like that so let me know if you'd be interested because I definitely want to do it uh, for foundation I'm gonna go back to like the most OG cocktail if you guys know this foundation cocktail let me know because I want to know who my subscribers from the beginning were uh, we're gonna mix the Milani Concealer and Perfect with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Do you guys remember? I used to always do this. Uh oh, I think I did it too dark. I'm gonna go in with my little Eco Tool sponge and blend this out. It is a little bit dark for me, but we're just gonna pretend that it's not. But the foundation cocktail is so good. Our skin's gonna be looking bomb. Yeah, please don't tell me in the comments that my face doesn't match my neck because I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. For concealer, we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. And I also wanted to talk to you guys about fitness. So recently, I've been getting really into fitness mainly because I got really fat. Um, I gained a lot of weight uh, mainly because I was just like vacationing a lot. I also got on the depot, like I said, which 
Everyone told me, like, you better be careful. It's going to make you fat. I mean, it doesn't make you fat. It just makes you more hungry. So it's kind of your fault if you get fat. But anyways, um, I had to get on it just because other birth controls weren't working for me. But I've been really good about it lately. I've already lost around six to seven pounds. And I've been loving going to the gym. It's so funny. It's like, it's the thing is about working out is that you're going to hate it at first. But I don't know if you guys have heard about... It takes 21 days to make a habit and that's so true like you may hate it at first but if you just get to the rough part of hating going to the gym you will eventually get to the good part of like wanting to go to the gym by the way I'm doing a lot of concealer because this foundation is crazy dark but yeah so I wanted to um, maybe incorporate that into my channel I know I've said this a couple times the only reason why I haven't done it yet is just because I've been like falling off you know, the track, I've been like gaining weight and losing weight, but now I'm like finally on it. I really, really want to like just stay motivated and just kind of like reach my goals. And I was wondering if you guys were interested about like um, workout videos and also um, like what I eat in a day to lose weight or like a Q&A because even though I just started like getting fit, um, back when I was like in high school and also early college, I used to like be a fitness junkie so I do have a lot of knowledge like I, have a, I used to help my friends get in shape I just got off track so um, if you guys wanted to do like why don't you guys just tell me if you're interested in like seeing like anything about fitness or nutrition in my channel let me know and let me know what kind of video you would like to see and then that way I can film the videos that again you guys want to see so to set my eyes and like everywhere that I highlighted we're gonna be trying out actually I already tried it out but you guys are gonna see me use this little guy right here this is the Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder um, they sent this to me through PR so thank you Becca for this uh, I'm obsessed with this I think that if you have dry skin you're gonna be obsessed with this I don't think it would be bad for uh, oily skin but the reason why I'm saying I think dry skin people would like it is because if this is like obviously this is like the first powder that I've used that when I put it on my face I don't feel powdery like it's so weird it literally feels wet like I don't understand it but I've never had a powder that doesn't make me look powdery or feel powdery at all it kind of just sets my makeup like I said but you can't even tell that I have powder on the only thing though I will have to say is that it doesn't brighten at all as you guys can see my under eyes are not that brighten anymore but this is I think this is just a little bit better for like all over the face so in my last video I asked you guys if you could guess what video I was filming something that was really requested and a lot of you guys thought that it was the um, the Instagram followers video but that wasn't requested that was just something I came up with because other people were doing it but I'm just gonna like tell you guys so you guys can keep a lookout. But Wyatt and I finally filmed the boyfriend tag. I finally got him to do it. It's not that he didn't want to do it. He's just been so busy with um, law school and everything like that. But he finally passed the bar. I'm actually gonna go out of town this weekend because he's getting his license and he's getting sworn in. That's why I've been pre-filming so much. Literally, I'm going out of town this weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to Mexico. And the week after that, I'm going to Vegas. So it's kind of like... I just wanna, I wanna stay consistent with my channel. It's a super simple video, my setup is not the same because I did go to his house to do it, so I just kinda brought my ring light and made do with what I could. We definitely have, we have a very like, best friend kind of relationship. We, we joke around so much about everything and I feel like you kind of get a little glimpse of it in that video, so. Definitely keep a lookout for that because I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. For bronzer, I'm going to be using a $1 bronzer. If you guys remember my Shot Miss A video, this is the Amuse Cosmetics Matte Bronzer in the shade Matte Bronzer. Reminds me of like Matte Give Me Sun vibes in the way that it's so warm and like yellow toned. And if you have a dollar to spare and you like these kind of bronzers, definitely check it out. Like I said, it's in the Shot Miss A website for $1. So good. So for blush, I'm going to be going in with my janky uh, Luminoso Milani in the shade Luminoso. This is just an OG powder for like everyone, not just me. Such a good blush. It's pretty and I'm just not even going to talk about it because I feel like you guys know about it. If you like a shimmery, peachy, corally blush, 
you're gonna like this. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna mix a bunch of like the oranges and the burgundies and put it down in the lower lash line. Okay, again, this was sent to me for free, but you can buy this on Amazon for $10.99. You know what, for $10.99, I do think that this is worth it. My least favorite shadows out of this was the mattes, but they weren't horrible. They were just not my favorites. The shimmers are really, really good, and the glitters are just, like I said, pressed glitters. They went on my eye really easily and not messy at all. So if you just want a palette that has it all and it's very colorful, I think this is good. For highlighter, I'm gonna use a highlighter palette that I haven't used in so long. I think I've only used it once in my channel, and that is the Bad Habit Oasis highlighting kit. This is from the app Shop Hush and it has a mirror and I mean if you guys know about Shop Hush, if you don't, I have a whole like playlist of Shop Hush so definitely go look at all those videos because I've reviewed so many of their palettes. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Nude Beach which is like a very pale gold and it doesn't even have that much like kickback. That's why I like it and look watch this. <laughs> it's so reflective. Comment down below if you guys have tried Shop Hush and if you like it. Or also let me know if you have tried Shop Hush because of my videos. Because I remember a lot of people would tell me like, oh, loved your video, I'm ordering the palette. If you have done that, let me know and let me know like what you thought of the palette. Did you like it as much as I did? Because they do have some like really good quality palettes for the price. Like you can't even beat the price. It's so good. Um, I'm gonna set my face real quickly with the Ofra Makeup Fixer. Great setting spray, horrible applicator. Woo! So, the same company, Nice Face, and um, I'll, it's, I don't know, it's like an Instagram sent me this, and then they're called Value Makers Cosmetics, so I'll link their Instagram down below, but they work with different brands, and this brand is Nice Face. Nice Face also has liquid lipsticks, and these were also sent to me. Um, I believe these go for about $19.99, but for, like for the whole thing. I will link everything down below if you're interested, but I just, can we talk about this presentation? Like, what? Let me tell you about the formula. It goes on really well. It's not like patchy, it's opaque. The only thing is the formula is, it's not it's not very drying like at all. It doesn't get crusty. If anything, it doesn't dry down completely for like an hour or two. It is a little sticky. Like when when it's drying, it's a little sticky, but they are long wearing. So if you don't like sticky liquid lipsticks, you're not gonna like these. But if you prefer something a little bit more tacky and not as drying, then you are gonna like this. And if you do like this formula, I think that for $20 to get 12 liquid lipsticks for ten for $20 and if you do like the formula I think it's worth it. I'm gonna go in with Mondays which is a darker one but as you guys can see it's going on really pigmented not patchy at all and super creamy. It's a little moussey. Okay guys, and this is the final result. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably gonna be long, I know, and I know a lot of people don't like long videos. I know that they don't like to click on them, but I feel like my subscribers that like know me might, because, I don't know, my favorite thought, like, my favorite YouTubers, I like actually watching their long videos because I care about what they have to say. So I really hope that you guys care about what I had to say. Again, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this more laid back video. Like always, um, everything will be laced down below, all the products. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this look. Just come say hi or I don't know. Just come say hi to me. I love talking to you guys. I love responding to you guys. Like I said, it always makes my day. So thank you guys for always just commenting. I love you guys so much. So anyways, I really hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you guys are and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.